Farsight Pre-Alpha started today and very excited because we got some new features and I want to show you what it's all about. They did introduce you're able to now mine on a planet and you can also test drive your ship. So in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and show you briefly how to do all this and what's to come. Now that we're logged in, you're going to see some different things here on the side. You now have planets and stations on the left, which is pretty nifty. So now you can go ahead and click on planets and fly to a specific planet and it takes you there. So you can warp to this one or this one. And depending on the ship and how fast it goes is how long it'll take you to get there. These flights are in autopilot, which some people were you know, not thrilled with because they thought you'd actually get to fly your ships, but it does look like it's autopilot at the moment. Now, will if you get into a fight with other ships, will that be autopilot? It's still too early to say, so maybe that'll switch. If you do get in a fight, maybe it'll break into a different mode. We'll kind of have to wait and see. Also, your station is here, which is the Homestead station, which for pre-alpha has unlimited storage. Anything you mine right now goes directly to this and it's held there because the mining is so new and they didn't build up the storage portion for the mining yet. So let's go ahead and show you the mining and we'll come back to doing some traveling at the end if you want to catch that. To get to the mining, what you want to do is go to your sector. So here are the sectors. I'm going to go to my main one, which is home 14. This is the home planet. I'm so glad I got this large sector. So good. So we're going to go ahead and click manage here. And it's going to bring it up here. The sector rolls and I have two mining facilities on it. Because it's a large, I can have three things. A medium has two and a small has one. So with this one, I bought two and the third one I plan to make a refinery. So how would you add one? You would click on add roll here. And when you do, you choose what you'd like. Obviously I can't do any more mining facilities because I don't have enough credits, but that's fine because I have enough mining, I believe where I'm at. And then the basic refinery is gonna cost that those types of materials plus 500,000 credits. So my thought right now is prepare get those materials. I can get three out of four because I can mine three out of four of those myself. And then when the next area comes and you can get credits through purchasing the coin, I'll use that to get the 500,000 credits to purchase it. I will have the three mining before then. And the reason I want to have mining early is because in pre-alpha, I think they're giving us a little bit of a better mining facility from what everything everyone's saying. And when the game comes out, it might not be as good as it is right now. So because of that, I wanted to maximize and have three instead of just one or two. So you're going to see I have two on this planet and then I have one on another sector I'll show you. So the refinery is going to be able to refine the materials and all of this information was released today. But just to give you a quick idea of how it goes, when you refine, you can break things down into different ways of getting refined material. And some of the time you even, if you get the schema three, which I thought was interesting for water, it breaks water down and gives you a lumber for free and these two side materials, which is great because I can already get lumber and water on the home planet, which is a very rare resource. But now I don't even have to mine the lumber. I could use water to make the lumber automatically this way. Now it does take different times to go ahead and mine certain resources. Going back to here, let's go ahead and open up the facility. I did mine some already and it should be completed. There we go. So we mined two waters, which took 10 hours, cost 100 credits. We could restart production if we want to make more or manage assets. But basically, we're good here. Let's click on Manage Assets and see what happens. There it is. There's the crystals I have on my other miner and the water I have on the other. Now I have two water and three crystals. These were just kind of a test to kind of see how everything's working. And, you know, I wanted to see what happens after you get done mining before I start a longer one. So now what I want to do is I'm going to want to change the resource and mine something else. I know I need some of this down here, 
I have sand actually being mined already somewhere else. I'm not going to worry about sand, but I do want to get the other materials. This is what we're basically looking at to get what we need. So I need to do 60 of SA27, which I have brewing on my other planet. And every one of these makes 500 of that resource. Now this changes with everything as you see here. So the next thing we need is CL. We need a good amount. This is gonna cost 20,000 credits just for taxes. So we need 40 of the CL30 because you get 250 each time to make 10,000. So we'll go to CL30 and we need 40 of those. So we'll click on mine. And you notice here it says 250 every six hours and 40 minutes, and it costs 500. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna set this for 40, so I have enough. So I do 39 and I hit the plus, and then it adds the 40. Sometimes it, if you just put 40, it doesn't always update the taxes and to make it clickable. So what's gonna happen is every six hours and 40 minutes, I'm gonna get 250 of this resource, and it's gonna keep going for 11 days and two hours. So I'm not gonna need to touch it for a while. If I wanna cancel it before then, I can, but I'm gonna lose anything that's pending. You do not get that back. So just know that. But I definitely need this clay. So we're gonna go ahead and hit produce. And it's gonna say start mining, confirm. So there we go. We have the clay now being made. And we need to check one other one here. What is the other one we had on home? The CO24 is the other one we need on here. The one we're missing is the SO23. We can get everything but that one, unfortunate. The CO24, we will go on here. And like I said, my other planet, if I go to there, I believe it was this one. Yeah, we're currently mining sand. It's going to keep adding up here and I should be able to see that, I believe. No, I don't believe I can see that until it's done. I don't see how I can check that until it's done. So I got to let this run. I think it was like 16 days, so we're not going to worry about this. I mean, they're still building the game, so in two weeks, they probably won't release much more in that time. We're probably looking at a month, especially with all the holidays coming till the next portion starts coming out. So we'll go back to uh, home 14 and we will open up the second miner. And here I just did some crystals. These don't need to be refined, which is pretty nice. So we're gonna go ahead and choose change here and we are going to do the other one, which was CO24. We need 50 of these. And that's gonna be 10,000 credits, not as bad as the others. Uh, that's gonna give us copper and we're looking at about 16 days again. So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and choose produce. We're gonna start mining and there we go. We have everything we need for this once these are done mining except SO23. That's all right though, we have a lot of cool people in our fleet, if you didn't know, we are in Farsight Fleet. I'll put the link down below if you'd like to check it out and join. We're a group of alliance that's working together to uh, make the game great, basically. It is gonna be limited number. At some point, we're gonna stop accepting people. So if you wanna get in, you'd wanna jump in now while it's early. Really excited for this game, and you know it, because I keep posting videos on it. With that said, uh, this isn't sponsored or anything like that. However, if you haven't started playing, you can click on my link down below for a free ship. And let's go ahead and show you how the ships work. So we'll go here. I've been having a problem pulling out a specific ship. I don't know why. Let's go. Maybe I just didn't do it right here. All right, this is future Kevin. So I figured out how to dock the ships. Go ahead and hit dock and it will say they're docked. When it's docked, there's actually a menu here and sometimes it doesn't show for me. I don't know why, but if I refresh it, I was able to get it back. Let's hope it gets back this time. There we go. So now I have that menu showing and it gives more information. Let's take a look at this. Unlimited cargo storage available. 
free for a limited time during alpha. Then you have your storage and then parking. You have four ships parked. So if we click on storage, this will be your storage of everything that we have. And we can also go to them on the side here. So we have our fittings where we could fit things. And then we have our ships themselves. So let's take out the TC-65. I've been really excited to take this one out. I like this ship a lot. It's a nice cargo ship. So we're gonna go ahead and select this. And it's active now. We'll go ahead and choose undock. And hopefully it goes into universe with the ship. And it should. If so, we've fixed this issue. Thanks for Farsight Fleet for helping me out there. And we'll find a planet to go to. Let's check out home 14. And we're cruising, but I don't see the ship. Hmm. I wonder if it's just not set up or if I have a problem. You can notice the time is a lot better. I notice it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna try refreshing this. All right, there we go. We got our ship. I had to refresh it. Yeah, little buggy things happening, but it is, you know, brand new and it's pre-alpha, so I'm sure they'll get all this worked out. But look at this ship, it looks awesome. The colors. It's unfortunate I did have better ships. I had some attack ships, I had some first edition ship, and they all had to get destroyed for me to get the sectors. That was one of the biggest issues with this game i feel is the credits weren't enough in the beginning even if you spent a good amount so you had to destroy your ships and i have a feeling people are going to be destroying their stuff a lot so the stuff that's early in the game is going to become very important because no one's going to have it because everyone's destroying it for other things like buying sectors on planets because to have an actual physical spot on a planet that will last the life of the game is much more important than having a ship that can get blown up and you'll get credits for. Of course, you do want to try to have some type of ship, so that's why I saved this one, which is my cargo ship, and I'm hoping I get to use it. Worst comes to worst, I could always burn it, but I really don't want to. Uh, in my mind, I'm saying it's off limits because I want something other than a free ship. So we have eight seconds. The last ship that I did burn, though, I have to say, I do have a blueprint for, so I can always make them, so that's very nice. And flight finished. We are here at the planet. How cool does that look? The graphics in this game, very good. Really like it. And for a browser game, too. Check out the ship in close detail. So neat how that changes colors with the light of the sun. All right, I just want to show you that because I was having a problem originally when filming this video. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump back into the original because now that you've seen it and we'll fly back to the station with the basic ship. Of course, there'll be more at release and I'm sure when alpha releases or beta, whatever happens, you know, they'll probably have some more sectors with different resources. So if you have missed the land sale, there probably will be more, but the last land sale sold out in two hours. Just know that. Oh, I just froze a bit. It's not letting me turn. Maybe it's because I'm in full screen. It's pre-alpha, so <laughs> I think I jinxed it when I said I haven't had any problems all day. I was also using a different computer, so you never know. So these are the main features you have, and then you can uh, warp to your station, which will just warp back. It's moving now. And we'll try to dock at the station when we get there, see if it works. And then in the station, you'll be able to do things and probably be the marketplace and storage. From my understanding, be a nice place to go to hang out with everyone, store your ships and everything. So currently we could store all our ships there. I don't have as many ships. I did get rid of my new attacking ship. But the thing is, 
I do have a blueprint to make the ship I destroyed. So that's a good thing. I could always make that ship if I need to. Of course, it's it's definitely not easy to make a ship. At least now. But maybe one day. <laughs> Where are you, ship? What I do? Did I zoom out? Did I enter first person view? Maybe it didn't like me clicking around. It does look pretty awesome. The artwork is a good, they did good. Those are the main things going on right now. I, like I said, like the game, like the mining. I'm glad that I can mine now. Not really ecstatic that there's taxes on it. I understand it. At first, the math wasn't working out for me because I was watching someone else do it and I didn't notice that you get more than one per cycle. And then someone mentioned it and I'm like, oh, OK, so I get it. It's not as bad if you're getting 250 per credit, you know, as opposed to one you know so it wasn't that bad and i can deal with it you know it's like taxes you don't want to deal with it but you have to you know you have to keep things being burnt and used in the game keep the value up and not make everything so easy to obtain because if everything is over inflated and there's so much of everything it's just not going to be worth anything and it'll kill the game so making things valuable you know, is is important. If you want to check out the guide, I'll put the refinery information below. And the other thing that they released today was the resources and how it works. If you are into it, you'll want to check it out because the resource guide really does explain it well. Because there's like not in the game, but there's 156 potential resources that w I believe are out there. I also have a resource guide on my website, ProGamerStories.com. I'll put the link down below. This will give you an idea of all the planets and what they currently make. And we also have a list of full resources. So check it out. All of them, even the ones not released. And you can scroll through. Of course, this is pre-alpha, so things can change and they probably will. But if you want to go ahead and get a good idea of everything going on, this will help you out. I'll put the link down below. And this was prepared from Farsight Fleet. So this is just one of the examples of resources you'll get being with part of the fleet. So this gives you a good breakdown of what everything is. That way you can kind of figure it out. And if you want to pause on the screen as well, you could do that. I'll scroll through it here real quick. But gives a good idea. And here's the water and lumber, the green resources. I think those are going to be awesome. And then it goes over to the refinery. And when you refine, there's three different versions. And each one has their own potential, depending what you're looking for and what you need. For me, I really like the third schema, but maybe they're specific. Maybe you can only use one schema with each. A certain resource I don't know it didn't really answer that for me but if you know let me know <laughs> and then it goes into the metals here as well that's everything I got hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you smack that like and I will see you in the next one thanks so much for the view